So today was the Call of Duty Next event, and we learned a ton of different things about literally everything it felt like, like multiplayer, Warzone 2, and even Warzone Mobile, and all that great stuff that we heard about. But one thing in particular that we're going to talk about in this video is that DMZ game mode, which unfortunately they actually didn't talk too much about um and we didn't even get gameplay or even a trailer but they did talk about a couple things that are incredibly interesting and incredibly good to hear about this game mode that i probably spoiled in the title but let's talk about them nonetheless and i can't think of a better place to start than the fact that dmz is real like we knew about the leaks and the rumors for like probably years now, but it's great to finally get that confirmation. But alongside the confirmation of it existing, we got a confirmation that yes, it will be an extraction style game mode similar to Escape from Tarkov, which is always great to hear just to confirm something that we thought for so long, and that's just good news. But we did learn some gameplay related things, and one of the most important things we've been curious about is the map it's actually going to take place on. And yes, it has been confirmed it will be played on the Warzone 2 map, El Mazara, which at the time of me recording, I actually haven't seen gameplay of it, but by the time you guys are watching it, you guys probably have. But for now, we'll just look at the map of the map, I guess is how you would word it. And right away, I think this map looks way better than the uh, two previous Warzone maps that we got. Like, it just looks better, especially with the water that you can actually swim through and uh, ride boats through and all that great stuff. Like, that's just great. And to me, it just gives me more blackout vibes than anything we got in the last two maps which i love the blackout map and if it plays more similar to that i'm more than happy and honestly i think if it plays good for warzone 2 i think it'll probably play good for dmz also and it should be a good time now other things in relation to gameplays that they did confirm there is going to be a uh, bot around the map which makes sense obviously it's an extraction style game mode you're trying to collect loot and one of the best places to collect loot is from these bots and i'm sure you'll find just random bots hanging around you kill and take their loot but one thing they mention is that there's going to be areas where there's going to be a lot of bots and these bots can lock down into a building and you're going to have to really force your way through this and kill them all to take all the loot that they have and i'm sure these are going to be the best places to collect loot. Of course, there is a huge trade-off here because they're not going to be easy to kill, I would assume, especially with their lockdown in a building, but it will be worth it if you're able to get it. But at the same time, if they kill you, you're kind of screwed and you're going to lose all the loot that you currently have. You know, the whole idea of extraction style game modes. But of course, alongside the bots, there's going to be other players that you could run into. You could try to kill, you could try to run away from or whatever you want. Of course, I could imagine anytime I see somebody, I'm gonna try to kill him and I'm probably gonna die and just lose all my loot. But hey, think about the times when I actually do kill him and take their loot because I know the second I take their loot, I'm extracting because I'm not risking dying after I just killed somebody, you know, just, just not happening. But regardless, you know, it's just some normal extraction style game mode stuff. But one thing that I'm so glad is going to be in DMZ, but it's also gonna be other places inside Warzone 2 and also Modern Warfare 2, but especially in DMZ, it's such a cool feature is proximity chat yes proximity chat is finally making its way into call of duty something i've been wanting in call of duty for so long because it's some of the funniest and trolliest stuff you'll ever hear now for the five people who don't know what proximity chat is it's just that if you stand next to someone you could talk to them through the mic it's just kind of like real life if you stand next to somebody you could talk to them right so that is something that i think could be so fun like i'm sure there'll be like the serious stuff especially in like dmz where you ran into somebody and you're kind of in this little holdout situation you could try to bargain with the person say hey maybe i'll leave some loot here you leave me alone stuff like that and i'm sure some people will agree to that move on and it'll work out great with the little deal they made but i'm sure there'll be people trolling the hell out of other people which will always be for a good time i'm sure it'll be so funny and I cannot wait for all the clips people are going to make with it. It's going to be so great. Now, one thing I did mention earlier, and this is that DMZ is going to play on the Warzone 2 map. And what this means is that DMZ is going to be a part of Warzone 2. It's actually not going to be a part of Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 2 is going to have its own application and Warzone 2 is going to have its own application and DMZ will be on the Warzone 2 application. And what this means is that DMZ will launch the exact same day as Warzone 2 on November 16th. And that is just good to know when it's actually coming out. We were really confused by it 
for a long time. We really didn't know when it was actually coming out, but it's great to have a confirmation that it's going to be on Warzone 2 and will launch the same day as Warzone 2 on November 16th. Just great stuff. And that might be great stuff, but what really makes it really great stuff is the fact that this confirms that dmz will be free to play alongside warzone 2 yes it's been officially confirmed dmz is free to play you don't have to buy modern warfare 2 or anything like that you download warzone 2 and warzone 2 obviously will be free but alongside with that dmz is going to be free to play and that is such great news for a game mode like dmz because i think game modes like dmz could really benefit from being free to play and this should be a great boost to the game and is some of the best news that we've heard about the game mode now there's one final thing that was mentioned that they didn't really specify where it was going to be implemented in the game and what this was a mention of is a raid system now, for the people who don't know what raids are, it's just kind of a co-op long extended mission where you fight a bunch of grunt enemies, mini bosses, do puzzles, and it finishes off with a boss fight that gives you exclusive loot if you complete it and, you know, not everybody in your game dies. And this is a really cool idea and, you know, Destiny does it really well. And I love the idea of it coming to Call of Duty, but we just don't know in what form it will. Because to me, there's only two possibilities of where it could go. It's rather DMZ, where I hope it goes, or it could be the Spec Ops game mode that is going to be the third game mode for Modern Warfare 2. And I mean, if it's there, you know, whatever, it'll probably still be fun. But to me, one of the problems with extraction style game modes is that you collect all this loot and then for what? I mean, don't get me wrong, you still have fun just by collecting the loot. I mean, there's a ton of thrill in that. But if they just gave you a reason to collect all this loot and you're doing it to get ready for this crazy raid, I think that'd be a little bit cooler. You know, that's just how I would want to see it implemented. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see how and where they decide to implement it. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on the entire DMZ situation. You guys glad it's free to play? Do you think raids are going to be a part of DMZ or anything like that? I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Regardless though, that's going to wrap it up for me. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely do all the normal YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, bell, share, and all that great stuff. But I'm going to go and I'll catch you guys next stream video or whatever the heck it may be. And uh, laters guys.